Hello everyone and welcome back to WordPress for Designers Day 3. Um, today we are going to dive into building a blank WordPress theme uh, that we discussed in Day 2 and we are just going to start completely from scratch mainly with our style sheet and our index.php file will be the only two files that we'll really mess with today and and we're gonna learn just how to how to create a WordPress theme uh, from nothing and we're also gonna go over um, which will be incorporated into our theme but WordPress template tags and what WordPress template tags are and and how we're gonna use them for our theme so with that said go ahead and uh, file uh, fire up your local server um, for me it's MAMP or MAMP um, but whatever one you're working on is fine and we will navigate over to Firefox and uh, we'll get off of the uh, Nicktoons fan site for just for the screencast. Um, I have some work to do later, and so I'll probably go back to it. But okay, so now we're on the uh, on our on our WordPress theme that we've been working with so far, and let's go ahead and go to Sighted Men. And you'll remember that we went into Appearance Editor. Now if we go into here and we start to make our own theme, it, it's almost overwhelming how many theme files there are and, and to really know which one to edit or clear out first and, and where to get started. So instead of even messing with any of, any of these theme files, we are going to uh, create our own theme completely from scratch and we're going to start with the style sheet for that, which we'll get to in just a second. But one thing I want to point out as we get started here is if we go into appearance and then themes and we scroll down we'll, we'll notice that the themes have have a link in their name and a screenshot here and then some tags and a description of the theme and our kind of our first step into setting up our theme is to get that information set up so with all of that said let's let's start from scratch and we'll take it real slowly here and let's start creating our our new uh, WordPress theme uh, will open up Coda and keep in mind for now we're not going to worry at all about how the theme looks or, or really any of the design elements of any or anything like that until we get a lot further into this. So we'll go to the WordPress folder and remember we'll go to WP content and then to themes to get into our main theme uh, folder and you can see there are two themes that we have there by default let's just go ahead and create a new directory let's create a new folder and let's call it uh, whatever we want to call it we'll just we'll call it wordpress forest all one word okay so now that we have our new um, theme directory we will come in here and create a new file call it style.css and we'll drag this to the WordPress forest folder. Okay, so now we have our WordPress forest folder and style.css page. What we need to do now is open up our style.css and we need a way to tell WordPress what our theme name is and our description of our theme and, uh, and uh, the tags and a little bit more about our theme. So first we'll, we'll do a some comments in style in our style sheet and I'm sure you all know how to do comments in uh, CSS files and it's very important that you type this next part as, as you're about to see it so WordPress can get all the correct information from your style.css file so the first thing we'll do is we'll type theme name colon and we'll just call this uh, WordPress forest which is kinda what I've been calling these test themes we've been doing and the next thing we'll type in theme capital URI colon and we'll, uh, we'll just say HTTP blog dot theme forest dot net and now we will uh, we'll go ahead and do our themes description and this is where we'll sort of uh, you know just describe uh, just a quick one or two sentences what our theme is and we'll say a a sample WordPress theme for themeforest.net. It sounds good to me. A version of our theme, what, what version uh, our theme currently is. Uh, we'll, 
Actually, let's we're 4.0. We're 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 way too cool for 1.0. Uh, so we're we're gonna go 4.0 for now. Just that seems to be the thing to do. Author is going to just use my name. Pretty self-explanatory. So you'll do the author, capital U R I, and I'll, and I'll just put my one of my websites here. And lastly, we have tags, and tags are just uh, kind of keyword descriptions of your theme in, in case you plan on sharing and submitting your a free theme to the uh, WordPress uh, theme directory. So you know, ours is boring, dull, void of life. Um, I think that describes the, the theme that we have going on so far right now um, pretty well. But hopefully we can get in there later and, and change those. Okay, so we will save our style.css. And now what we will do is we will navigate over to Firefox. We'll click Appearance, Themes. Okay, now we don't see our theme yet. And if we scroll down, you'll see broken themes. The following themes are installed but complete. The theme must have a style sheet and a template. Well, we're missing a template. In other words, we're missing at least one file. And in this case, our index.php file. So before we can activate our new theme, we need to make an index file. So we'll come over to our WordPress forest folder, our theme folder. And we'll Go ahead and make a new file and we'll name that index.php. Okay, we'll go ahead and open up index.php and I have a pre made uh, template I'll just open up here, an HTML kind of template so I don't have to type all the, all the boring stuff in. I think that's it. Okay, I'll just copy this. I'll paste it into index.php and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all the styles, the reset here, and we won't be using any jQuery um, yet, so we'll get rid of that. And we don't really need any of these meta tags except for the content type, so we'll get rid of that. And we'll change our uh, title here to WordPress Forest for now, but we're going to come back to the title tag very soon and see how we can change that. And we don't really need this div idea of wrap um, as we don't have any content to really display yet with our new theme. So let's go ahead and save our index.php file just as is, a super simple um, you know, HTML or PHP file, but just basic HTML in it so far. Let's navigate back over to Firefox and let's refresh our themes page. Okay, now there's WordPress Forest, a sample WordPress theme for themeforest.net. Boring, dull, and void of life. Um, that, that would sound right. But there's no screenshot here. So how do we get the screenshot to show up for our theme? Well, I'll go ahead and minimize Firefox and minimize Coda here. And, and I have a pre-made screenshot that I'm going to use, but all you need is an image that's th about, about 300 by 225 pixels and um, we will go to, I'll go to my local server here, which is MAMP, HDDocs, WordPress, WordPress content. I could have done this in Coda as well. I'm just you know, um, showing you guys an option, a different way to do this. Themes, WordPress forest, and then in the root WordPress forest, our theme folder, we would just drag our screenshot.jpg into that uh, folder. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and refresh it again. And we can see that our, um, our image has showed up now for our theme. And, and usually you take a screenshot of your theme, but I thought that Doug um, Yancey Funny was a much better call in this situation. So that now, now that we have our, our main theme showing up here under the appearance um, uh, and themes, we can go ahead and click on it, and we, we will see that the preview here, but obviously we don't have anything to, to really preview yet, so we'll click Activate WordPress Forest. Okay, well our new theme is activated, and we can visit site. 
Okay, now it's completely blank, but you can remember that we had the title of WordPress Forest, which is showing up uh, exactly as it should. So now here is where we're going to go ahead and, and get into uh, WordPress template tags and what they are and how we're going to use them. And a WordPress template tag is really nothing more than just a PHP function. And they're pre-made PHP functions that WordPress has created for us to use. And we can pass these functions different parameters in, uh, in order to pull out the content and information from our theme and from WordPress that we need. So what does that mean? Well, the easiest way to really understand uh, what a template tag looks like and how it works is to just go ahead and do one. So we'll get rid of our title. And because we know that our header um, is going to be, or uh, excuse me, that, because we know our title is going to be displayed on every page, we don't really want to just have a really static one in there. We want to use a WordPress template tag to display our title. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to type PHP blog info. And we'll just we'll go ahead and save it as it is right now. And we'll see what happens. Okay, well nothing's changed. Well, we've set up the template tag, but we haven't passed it any parameters yet. And we pass the parameters right in between the parentheses that you see here with some quotes. So now we'll do PHP blog info and we'll do name for our blog name. We'll save this and we'll see what it does. Okay, well it's still showing WordPress Forest, but it's actually doing something differently here. And if we go to WP Admin, when we scroll down to settings and click general, okay, you can see our blog title is WordPress Forest. So to demonstrate what that template tag is doing more, I'm going to change this for a second and call it uh, testing uh, WordPress Forest. Click save changes. Okay, let's visit our site again. Okay, now you can see it's showing up as testing WordPress Forest. Now we haven't changed anything here. But since we ha now have a WordPress template tag in here, it's saying grab the name of the blog and display it in between the title tags. So we're using the blog info template tag and we're pr passing it the parameter of name. And, and that is how we get our blog name to show up between our title tags. So that should uh, give you uh, your first real dose of a WordPress template tag. And we are going to use these all the time from now on and they're, and they're going to be a huge help um, to us when developing our theme and they're just pretty much you know vital parts of our theme so if we go back we can see that the title tag is now being pulled um, from the WordPress template tag blog info name what are a few other things that we can do with what we have so far and WordPress template tags well we haven't even linked to our style sheet yet. The normal way we would do this is to give it a link rel of you know, style sheet and give it an href of what path it's at and uh, that would be if we remember WP content themes WordPress forest style.css the type would be text CSS and the media would be screen. And that's that's the regular way of doing it. And that will work if we pull it up here in Firebug. Um, let's go ahead and add a style to our style sheet so we can we can uh, be sure that it's sh it's showing up. Whoops. And we won't even fill anything. We'll just give it an ID of wrap. Go back to Firefox and refresh here. Okay, now we can see that wrap uh, is showing up in Firebug, so our CSS file is getting linked to, but it's kind of a pain to keep track of and change these uh, these relative paths. And we can really accomplish this a lot easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all that. Uh, and we're inside the href tag, we're going to put PHP. We're going to use blog info again this time with the parameter of style sheet URL
Okay, and let's go ahead and save that. And refresh. Open up Firebug again. Okay, and we can see our, our style sheet is still showing up. So instead of having to remember all of our paths and, and what directory everything is in, all we used was the WordPress template tag blog info. And one of the parameters that we can pass to that is our style sheet URL, which grabs the URL of our style.css uh, file. So you can start to see the uh, dynamicism that WordPress is bringing in um, and giving us uh, the power to really um, be flexible with our theme. Let's, uh, let's move on and let's, let's keep adding some template tags here. Well, uh, what, about the, what about these tags right here, the, the language tags and the XML tags? Let's go ahead and get rid of, of that. And instead, we can just use PHP and then we'll do language attributes just like so and we'll save it again and now if we refresh the page again and we come into HTML we can see that the first line right here has been filled in for us by WordPress it's given the language of English direction of left to right and so we've used another template tag to do that for us. Let's go ahead and use one more here and let's do it for the content type, the content meta tag right here. Now we can go ahead and get rid of all of this and we will just do PHP, we'll use the blog info template tag again this time oops, with the parameter of HTML type. We'll then get rid of one of these. Now we also need to set the character set. So we'll give it care set equals PHP blog info once more and care set. Let's go ahead and uh, save this. See if we did that correctly. We'll refresh. And yes, we can see that it set the meta uh, content type um, to just what we had it to before, but without us having to actually insert it. So, so we can start to see how template tags work and how they can be extremely useful to us and keeping our theme really dynamic and, uh, and not having to use any static information, especially when it comes to linking to stuff like your style sheet URL um, and things of that nature. Um, and we are going to dive into a lot more of that tomorrow. So if you're looking for some resources or extra homework, if you're following along, if you go to wordpress.org, you might wonder how, how we know all the parameters and template tags and the easy answer is just to check out the docs and it's kind of just one of those things that you learn as you go along and you learn about new template tags that you can use and which ones uh, you know will work for you in certain situations so if we go to wordpress.org and click docs and we scroll down and I think it is under design and layout yes okay under design and layout you'll find template stepping in template tags or template tags. If we click on template tags, we get all kinds of information here and a huge list uh, and resources of all of the available template tags. And uh, you'll see right here under general tags, blog info is one that we'll use quite frequently as it's pretty helpful for figuring out information about our blog and, uh, and pulling out certain information as we've shown today. So just to recap what we've done today, to go back over it, template tags are nothing more than a PHP functions set up by WordPress that accept certain parameters depending on the, on the information you need. So for example, in our title tags, we used blog info. We passed it a parameter of name, telling it to grab the name of our blog, and we're putting it in between title tags to display the title of our blog. 
Um, we did the same thing for our content type on our meta tags. And we also used it to help us figure out where our style sheet um, and what path our style sheet was located in so we don't have to keep track of that. We used blog info and with the parameter of style sheet URL. So again, um, I encourage you to go to wordpress.org, uh, check out the docs, and uh, and really do you know get into template tags and, and just kind of get in here yourself and and try to see which ones you think are going to be really helpful down the road. And tomorrow we will get into actually putting in some content in between here and using what is known as the WordPress loop for day four. So uh, you want to stay tuned for that. If you're enjoying uh, these articles, you can always subscribe, or these screencasts, excuse me, you can always subscribe to our RSS feed. And that will be it for now. Um, you can go back to themeforest.net or uh, the uh, Doug fan site if uh, that's what you're into. So that'll do it for day three. Stay tuned for day four tomorrow when we're working with the WordPress loop, and have a great day.